Today we're gonna to be doing something super exciting. I'm gonna be completely powered by Walrus Audio. So for those who are familiar with my channel, you know I do guitar demos, live videos, studio sessions, and I have a few pedal boards that I have for specific things. I have like this mini walrus board, kind of just five pedals, and I organize it for different things. Really good for traveling, or if I'm just gonna plug into an amp mono. And then I have my travel board, which I use for touring a lot. If I'm flying, I just put it in a backpack. It has a little bit more pedals. It's like MIDI controlled, super cool. Um, and I take that on the go all the time. And then I have the mothership, which is like my studio board. It's right under here right now. I'll show you guys that in a sec. So the big board already has the Walrus Canvas power supply on it. And I wanted to make sure that I had my other two boards totally powered by Walrus because this thing is insane. So without further ado, here is the Walrus Audio Canvas power supply. So here I have the eight output power supply as well as the 15 output power supply and they have a 22 but um, this is great for me I'm set with all this so let's talk about the boxing really quick I can't even believe how sick this thing is it literally when I got it I was literally staring at this for maybe 20 minutes and I would kind of open it right you open it over here and then I would just put it right back and I'm like dude I don't want to ruin this thing so Tyler and the boys at Walrus Audio, you guys killed it with the design and packaging of this thing. I don't even want to mess it up. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. So slides open. Look how clean this thing is. Unreal. So here's the brick. You got your cable. This connects to your IEC cable that powers the whole thing. This is just unreal. Classic, hey, I love you. I love you guys too. Honestly, I really do. And let's, let me put this down for a sec. Let's look at this thing. Absolutely stunning encasing. All black with the canvas rainbow, which is super cool. The detail everywhere is just exceptional. I I don't know why, I'm just so stoked about how this thing looks. Like, I don't even know if I want to put it under the pedal board. I think I want to just, like, leave it on top so everyone can see. But, you know, we got to keep room, save room. But um, this thing is absolutely killer. You have 15 outputs here. Um, 500 milliamps each output, which is insane. You have two over here that you can switch from 9 volt, 12, 18. Um, and it's just unreal. They also have a 24 volt through so you can connect this to another power supply So if you had like the 15 or the 22 and you needed more and then you got went ahead and got the 8 or the 5 You can link them together. It also has a USB-C out uh, you can charge your phone off of it and everything and uh, Upload new firmware and everything. So it's epic. Absolutely insane So I mean just look at this thing It's unreal so we're going to go ahead and put this on my travel board, but let's check out the 8 real quick. So same setup. You know, here's your power adapter with the IC. And man, I just, I just can't get over this casing. It's just so sick. Look at this thing, man. Unreal with the walrus logo in the back So really sick and then of course you have You know you have your wires and cables under which is great So all this is going to hold all the little power cables the outlets and of course that IEC Cable adapter, so you're pretty much set With everything you need they got some brackets some screws So yeah we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up. Um, I do have, let me clear this up for a sec. So here I have my Walrus mini board. It's a Puddle Train Nano, super sick, really compact. Top tracks really help. So I just use this with Walrus kind of pedals and I switch them out. You know, I'll change the distortion or delay or I'll do tremolo, whatever. Whatever the gig needs, I'll kind of swap these out. Um, and I was gonna get the five for this one, right? So this is the eight. 
I was gonna get the five, but if you see, I kind of have six pedals here. So I got four, right? And then five, six. So that way I really can fit this whole thing. And for a while, I've really been using like this not really isolated power supply. You know, one of those they say it is, but it's not. So, I mean, it's it fits, it works great. You know, I was just using analog pedals, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's gonna be a game changer to really make sure everything's clean and properly powered with this truly isolated, well-amped power supply. So, let's go ahead and switch that up, and um, then we'll go ahead and move it to my mini board. All right, and here we go. I have my Walrus mini board here, and I have the Canvas Power 8 right here under look how sick this thing looks nice low profile i don't do the best wire job but um you know i kind of use these little things to kind of keep them together but um this is enough for me i know some guys go og on this stuff and it looks killer but this works for me and it has your 24 volt in so that's this guy over here with the ic cable so I'll go ahead and plug that right in. Boom, everything lights up, working perfectly. And there's that through if you wanna add more, which for here I don't need to. Usually just have like five or six pedals. And there you go. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, so the cool thing about this setup is I usually rearrange these pedals depending on what I need or what I need to play. So I'll swap out pedals for other Walrus audio pedals that I have, and they fit perfectly with those top jacks. Uh, for now, I have the Schnobel Tone Buffer, the Polytune Tuner, 385 Overdrive, the Julia Chorus, ARP 87 Delay, and the Fathom Reverb. This goes out into my Walrus Audio ACS1 Amp and Cap Sim, and I'm using my Veritas Guitars Portlander. Let's check it out. travel board this is my fly board I put it in a backpack it's pretty compact but there's a lot going on you know everything runs through MIDI almost everything and um, this is just an awesome board that I take everywhere so the under under the hood it's not that nice but you know everything's in there and I have been using this Walrus Audio Phoenix for a while so it's a little bit big and heavy so I'm really glad to be adding this thing which is gonna be way lighter, way easier to fit in, there's gonna be more space on the bottom. So, let's go ahead and put this thing on the travel board and I'll show you how it sounds. All right, so here we have the travel rig, just swapped out the Phoenix power supply for the Canvas 15. Love this little compact board. Let's check out what's underneath. Check out how sleek this thing is, fits right under here. Once again, I don't do the best cable work, but um, this is cool for me. I got the long line here, which is also powered by the Canvas Power 15. So just to get a side by side, the Canvas 15 is a little bit longer, but it's slimmer and it also weighs less uh, than the Phoenix. I have felt a huge difference carrying this thing around um, after I swapped this out. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we got.
there you have it. I'm fully powered by Walrus Audio with these epic canvas power bricks. They have multiple sizes. I just love how they look and they're making my pedals as clean and properly powered as possible. So if you haven't checked them out yet, please do. They're absolutely killer and they are well worth it. Thanks for watching.